Hello one, hello all, and welcome to episode 26 of series three of Fab Life with Lauren and me. I'm here with the disco queen himself, Lee Peart. Someone came up to me today. If you don't, if, you, if you're listening, I'm wearing a, a top that's a disco, but it's in the Tesco logo. Someone came up so to me quirky. and went, oh my God, I love your top. It looks like Tesco. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that's the point. That's the point. Dick. Honestly, Jesus, do you think I'm just wearing, it is a bit, I did look at myself though and I thought, I'm a 33 year old man. Should I be wearing such silly I'm 35 tops? though and I wear a silly t-shirt, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so I think but you've it's got okay. that kind of kookiness about you. Yeah, I do, don't I? Kooky, so kooky. <laughs> um, yeah, but I did actually think it was a bit unusual for you on the... Did you? I, I found it at the back of my wardrobe, so I thought oh, I'll wear that. You today. just haven't worn a t-shirt in a while, actually. No, you're I'm more not. like short sleeve shirts. Yeah, I love a short sleeve shirt. Yeah, you really suit babes for the pearls. SSS. Mm. And today we've got lovely Luke as our um, producer. Hello. Say hi. Luke is a, a comedian. I yeah. Am. So oh, so this is so we're going to start getting a mix of producers again now because everyone's back. Have you been to Edinburgh, Luke? Uh, I didn't go this year. Oh, did you? Not? I, I told everyone I was protesting because it was too expensive. But the truth is, is, I forgot to book anything. Yeah, yeah. No show. it <laughs> is very expensive. But welcome, nice to have you. You have done the show before, so welcome back. Have you? I don't think I have. No. Have you not? I've been in this room when you've been in the room. Oh, uh, yes. maybe I've. That, that sounds creepy, but it's so long ago. <laughs> He's We've in the a... corner, Wang. I'm in the corner. If you <laughs> draw those curtains, I'm normally there. Yeah, I know that's yeah. what the shaking me <laughs> noises. Yeah, yeah, like, oh my God, Luke's in. You know when like, the train goes past, it's not the train; it's him coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should be, be congratulated. Oh. oh yeah, Luke, you got to hit pause on that bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> we will not carry on until we see our logo on the screen. But guys, you've got the aircon on for me, and I'm very grateful. Yes, well, last last time, obviously. Where's Brian? I wonder. He'd be devastated. He's missed us. He will. He will. Although he did say last week, let us know what one you're planning on booking and then all of a sudden he's not here yeah so maybe he's just like the other week producers <laughs> yeah he's over it he's over us um no luke and ollie we've done a few gigs together haven't we luke we have yeah, yeah. we also judged no a the um new talent gong show the the ding dong the gong ding show. dong gong hong if you're a fab life through and through you'll know that um there's a massive dildo that is used yes it, got, it, we got uh, it out didn't gong. we yeah we got it out had to blur it yeah, and there was a lot of blur. <laughs> there, was a lot of, yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of blur. There was just like my face and then the blur. Um, oh, cool. Did you enjoy having that very big phallic thing in your hand there, Luke? Or? It was weighty. Yeah, no, I felt, felt yeah, very powerful. Yeah, what about when we started it? the show? <laughs> 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 Lol. <laughs> um, well, so how are you, Lauren? Well, I'm, oh, rage, I'm rageful, and this is just added to it, hasn't it? This bloody Why are you rageful? Well, just like had a bit of a I have a nightmare journeys today. I've just been up north, and it's nothing like bad. Everything was on time, which is great. But London was very full when I arrived. Oh, f heaven forbid the capital city had a lot of people <laughs> in it. Heaven forbid. But I had a lovely, quiet train, and I was like, who the fuck are all these people? Mm. And tourists don't know where they're going. They don't know how to use the tube. No, and obviously when we go away, we know exactly I know ex where we're I going. know where I'm going, guys. Use <laughs> Google Maps. Oh, but do you know, you are well trained, though, when you've lived in London. Like, if you do come down yeah. the escalator or whatever, you stand to the side to look at your Google Maps. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, you say that. So I think I'm pretty good at navigating. Yeah, you know? me too. Um, and when I was in Berlin, don't know if you know, I did a show in Berlin. <laughs> Didn't talk about it much. Um, I First international gig. <laughs> Thank you, Fig. Um, I went to the Berlin train station to get a train to the airport. Yeah. Oh, my God. I am telling you now, there is no rhyme or reason to their platform numbering. No, it's there isn't. It's like they just threw up the numbers in the air and saw where it landed and went, yeah, yeah that'll be that. So I'm on <laughs> platform four. Well, you think the next one's platform five? No, it was 15. Like and then I'm like, she goes, you need to go to platform seven. So I could see platform eight. I thought, oh well, it'll either Just be right before there, or after yeah. it. Oh no, platform seven was like ten minute walk away from platform eight. Platform eight was next to platform twelve. <laughs> like there was no. I was like, and so ah. I kind of then was thinking, oh god, I need to get to the airport. Like I'm gonna miss, not miss my flight, but I was a bit like, oh. So I did start m m semi being like, uh, because like my train was gonna leave, and I was like, where and. I said to one woman, I said, where's platform seven? And she was like, 
just pointed to the right of her. Oh it was God. just, it was so Very strange. actually, I think Berlin, I remember thinking, oh, maybe I can't navigate, but it was actually their fault. We are quite lucky though. The tube, I feel like is so easy to navigate because of, even because of like the colors and stuff. But did you see that because of uh, London Fashion Week, they'd renamed Oh my God, Bond so no Street, one knew which is Burberry like a hotspot. I mean, so stupid. So stupid. So you had poor little old people being like, oh, I've missed Bond Street. It's like you should have got off at Burberry Street, but no one told you. Oh, God love them. It's a shame. God it's love them. It's a real them. shame. I bet no one I do like Burberry though, and uh, my backpack is Burberry. Is it? Mm. Did you get off and pose by the sign with your bag? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> Just me. And weirdly, I do have bondage gear in my <laughs> Burberry, <laughs> so it's Bond Street whenever. Oh my God, great! You're prepared for all the stations. Thank you. So happy for you. Thank you. And also on the way here, there was severe fucking delays on the Vicky line. That's Victoria Line for anyone who uh, do you know? I, I, do you know a guy called William Hansen? No, I can't say I do. He's the etiquette expert. Oh, my God, I do. I actually really like his TikTok videos when he tells you how to put, like, eat nuts at a bar. Yes, yeah. You use a little spoon and put them in on a napkin on your hand. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Don't take them directly out of the bowl, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so we should get him on the pod, actually, because he's He'd fab. be really good. And um, anyway, he posted a video. I nearly sent it to you the other day, but you know, I thought, don't initiate chat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, That's fair enough. <laughs> and um, it was about... Um, abbreviations so he's oh like God, a toasties and a toasty it's a toasted sandwich oh and, and i like, can't wait to wind him up if we get him on as oh, a guest i thought let's get him on and just see him like disintegrate <laughs> as lauren just speaks in a briefs every other word oh my god i'd love that yeah, yeah well i did show that video that someone tagged me on tiktok and it was a guy saying like He's obviously like being sarcastic, but he's this really posh guy. And I really liked his abreaves. He's like, you know, when did we start abreaving? You know, like the platy jubes, blah, blah, blah. He was like, you're going to get it soon with someone's says someone's wife says oh yeah my husband's just gone away oh what's he gone away for oh just a manslaughter the old manny slots and i was like that's actually excellent that's like, a really yeah, good yeah. one manny slots yeah i was just in prison in for prison the manny slots i thought that was great yeah yeah also did you know that abreaves are like <laughs> victorian are they so like pete's like there's this post that goes around all the time and the best one out of it is and it's like captioned from i don't know some thesaurus or something and it's a got the mobs and it was when people felt really down the and they didn't know got why the mobs. yeah got the mobs and that was like from victorian england oh lovely so we've been a brief in for a long time yeah oh my god let's get him on heaven forbid you use a spoon with your pasta as well i learned you're preggy with c pregnant with child or oh no. preggy with c yeah preggy c and preggy c or preggy we need to come up with some new ones, don't we? Let's yeah, get it really popping. That was terrible. <laughs> I just went to Starbs. <laughs> yeah, Starbs. It's always been Starbs, though, hasn't it? I've loved Starbs. Um, Do you remember when you'd go to Starbucks and you'd think you'd made it? Oh, my God. Because Back in the day, I was like, God, I'm just having a Starbs. But you had to get it on, like, the day. I used to go to Starbs on the day I got my student loan. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you were rich that yeah. day. Yeah. I remember I got my student loan one time, and I thought, fuck it, I'll buy a MacBook. <laughs> <laughs> so I did. I just I went into the Apple store. I was like, I'm buying a MacBook. I used to go to Topshop and pay my rent. They were like the two things. I'd go to Topshop, Oxford Street, and just spend hundreds of pounds. Because you had your grant as well. So yeah. you'd have like the loan Sick. you didn't see, but then you'd have the student grant to live. Yeah. And you'd just be like, woo! Us working class folk that we did. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> so Do you ever great. used to get EMA at college? What's that? Education maintenance allowance. It's probably, it's probably just after your time. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, it, I probably would have got it otherwise. Yeah, this was in the, the, the noughties. Yeah. I was alive in the no, noughties. No, no, <laughs> you were the forties. Um, <laughs> uh, I was alive in the noughties. <laughs> yeah, no, um, EMA, oh we called it. Maybe so I did, I don't We remember. used to get paid £30 a week to go to college if you That's attended. Sick. That's great. And then what I started doing, I mean, this is fraud. Um, <laughs> Say it now on this podcast, go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fraudy C. Fraudy C. <laughs> fraudy Lee. <laughs> um, 
I, uh, you, you, if you missed a class, you would like unauthorized. You wouldn't. Um, you won't get your. Thing. You won't get your EMA, so you'd lose out on like thirty quid. So, but oh, for God's sake, if you wanted to do anything oh and you didn't God. want to go to communication studies, so oh. what I started doing is one of my doctor's letters when I was going to the hospital for my terrible, you know, the hip thing. The hip thing. We won't get into it. It's a very sad story. On his blog. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I just like photoshopped the date. So I'd go to the office and be like, oh, this is my hospital. And so I'd get authorised absence. This is what you get when you 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 teach kids IT. Well, I was was also computing at the time. I was studying. So my eight, what did you ever miss that class, did you? (laughs) (laughs) I did dance, performing arts and psychology. Oh, of course she did. And AS level, I did law. I did, you did law. But do you know what? My teacher was really boring. Um... I would have carried it on, but like my teacher was just really dull, and I was she made she ruined it for me a bit. Really? If I'd had a better teacher. Oh, I used to love the, de- the like the legal definitions. I was obsessed with. Yeah, she made it really dull. Like she just read a textbook to us. Someone would go, uh, "Give me that back. That's theft." I'd be like, mm, "I think you'll find theft is dishonestly appropriating property <laughs> belonging to another with the <laughs> intention of permanently depriving them of it, and therefore the the modus operandi." Or you know, I'd really go into you it. You were like learning lines. Basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember one time I. Was in House of Fraser, and I went. Uh, is that not set at Clause 14 of the Sales of Goods Act? And they were Relax. like, and I was like, I think you'll find I can take back this belt. <laughs> Do you know what? She was like, you you need you need a receipt. You need to prove a purchase. I went. I don't need a receipt because it's not the legal, uh, it's not the law for you to have to give out receipts. I need proof of purchase, which is this bank statement right here. <laughs> like a fucking precocious seventeen-year-old. I, I went into Greg's say. and asked for the nutritional information of the oh, cost control. Oh, saying this, <laughs> and they couldn't find it. I was it. like, you must have it somewhere. And they were like, "I'll wait." Um, <laughs> poor guy. I mean, but I'm so awful. Such an he, awful. He was probably seventeen as well, and was like, "Come on, man." No, I remember it was like you know, it's a it, lovely little lady, like searching through the dust coming out of the cabinets. There it is, and they had it there, and it was five percent sausage. I said, "I'll, I'll just have a sandwich." I'll leave it for today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 not today, but thank you. You can remain open another day. I used oh. to think I was the council. Oh, bless you. Hate the council. <laughs> um, so, how's your week been, Lee? Oh, Tell us. my week. How has it been? Well, I had a show back home. Oh my god, we've both been home. In the grand old place of Cleethorpes. Did Grimsby. you get any? Are there any fab lifers in? Thoughts, apart from well, like your family, family. <laughs> <laughs> no, not yeah, that. Your mum's a secret listener though because she doesn't message you, she messages me. Does she? Yeah, well, what she says, she slagged me off, does yeah, she? Yeah, most of the time, probably. Um, <laughs> no, I had I uh, had a show and it was a very drunk woman. It was it was a bit weird because I knew a lot of people in the audience, which is quite stressful, isn't it? It's easy yeah. to bomb to strangers, it's got a little bit nervy, be um, and then the. The family were all sat on the front row because they every, to all put you the off. seats. No, all the seats had been taken up, so they and couldn't no one sit sits. there. Yeah, so that was a little bit annoying because you can't really do crowd work with your dad. Um, yeah, you're like, what's your name, sir? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like just pretend. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then there was a woman at the back called Carol who was quite annoying towards the end. She was very She's drunk. Put- she actually called me a see you next Tuesday and stormed out. No, she didn't. Yeah, yeah. Bet your mum loved that. Yeah, she was like, go Carol, go Carol. <laughs> I'm with Carol. She, yeah, she was like, thank God, it's not, not just me who thinks it. Um, no, she was no, just she very didn't. drunk. Yeah. What yeah. did her friends do? Because if my friend did that, I'd be like. Well, she was with this friend. She was this, this woman who like had a multicolored coat. I was like, listen, who's you, who's her behind you in the technical dream coat? <laughs> just tell her. To, like, and it was Andrea. I was like, tell her. She, like, it was just. And in the end, I was like, oh. And then I went, oh, just fuck off. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know, when you're like, I've done everything I can here. You've, yeah. You've quipped back at her, and then I just went, oh, do you know what, Carol? Just fuck off. <laughs> yeah, get out. Because <laughs> um, what she was doing is she's going. Oh, Oh, I bloody love him. I love him. But like, it was quite distracting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then like, I'd say something and then she'd be like, oh, and then I want, I, I, I basically outed her because she, her friend had been really laughing throughout the show and Carol had been like, everything Joseph. she'd say, yeah, everything she'd say, Carol would then be like, oh my God, that's so good in it. Yeah, yeah, you hear that? And he'd be like, yeah, we're all listening. We're all like, here at the same gig. We can now hear you. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is live, Carol. <laughs> like, it's not the TV. And, um, Anyway, uh, 
at one point, I was at the back, and her friend was laughing, and Carol turned to her and went, your laugh's just a bit loud, babes. Like, as if it was, like, disrupting the show. I was like, God forbid she laughs. So I told that story. Well, Carol was like, you're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. And she rang her husband and went, come and pick me up. Oh, my God. Yeah, she's yeah. mental. She, yeah, she's mental. So I went, oh, I went, oh, you're on the phone, Carol, literally. And five minutes in the, before in I was... In the room yeah, on the phone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. And to my husband, that's always oh, real. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, God. I was probably going to get decked, but yeah, Carol, she get was from... Decked. Get decked. Tell you've been home. <laughs> get decked. <laughs> Might get decked. <laughs> yeah, decked him outside. Decked him. <laughs> that's such oh, a good one. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 it does not suit It just me. rolled off your tongue, but you're like, yeah, I was I probably going to get decked. I, I didn't even know I said it it's quite telling isn't it <laughs> i might edit that out <laughs> <laughs> it's not me i was probably really gonna you know <laughs> queensbury rules <laughs> remember them no no apparently it's queensbury rules i think or where you punch like queensbury rules oh okay mm. i'll have to google that for one. the listeners i did a fist <laughs> sign or or for the listeners i just said queensbury rules three <laughs> times and hoped you imagined what i was doing you just repeated it and thought, oh yeah now we're not so that was fun um <laughs> and then what did i do yesterday not much uh, well oh god I, so you know i drunkenly bought a kindle you're loving it though you're absolutely I'm loving, it. loving it i finished a book within f- six days I'm proud of you. I know that's not like me at all. I mean, the last book I could not put down was Mein Kampf. And <laughs> I'm, joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh no, I can't. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the Bible, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I can't remember the last time, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's a riveting read, honestly. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I was so... Well, I, I, just was, I just was really enjoying it, and I'm just trying not to be sat on my phone all the time. I know what you mean. I see what it can do to a person. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't finish this fucking pregnancy book. I'm, What's it I, I got myself halfway through when it was raining on the market, because I was like, there's literally no one here. I, I'm going to have to force myself to... What's it about? <laughs> <laughs> it's people telling me their fucking birth stories and shit and like what's going to happen but I just know it's never going to go that way I know so it's good to know. know about it but I don't know too much because it's also like I don't want to you know get too ahead of myself you got to be relaxed and just be ready for whatever comes yeah so is knowing all the stories better or worse I quite like a pregnancy story like a birth story like because they're all so different but I'm also like right yeah come on What else do I need to know? Right. Flicking through, you know. Yeah. Maybe I am more of a fiction girl. Well, yeah, maybe. I mean, this, I've just read one called Lessons in Chemistry, which is a global bestseller. Global. Um, And um, I really enjoyed it, but they're making it into an Apple TV series. Oh, so we'll be able to watch it. So, yeah, I think I might watch it as well. Not that I have Apple TV, but you just have them all these days. Yeah, just wait till, the thing is with Apple, they get you because they stream them every week. Right, okay. So wait till they've all come out. Well, I think I'm going to upgrade my phone, it. actually, so I might get a free... You might get it with it. ...Apple TV thing. Oh, good for you, babe. Yeah, good yeah, yeah. You. It's time I got a new phone. This phone is on the brink. Oh, my God, Freddy's is the same. He rang me before. I was like, you sound like you're underwater. I know. That always happens to mine. What is with that? I, th- I swear. Well, what's it called? What's that thing called where after a while it just starts shutting down to make you get a new one? Makes you, yeah. Part it's of the software. Disgraceful. Um, jobs, man. So yeah, I I'm gonna look for a new book to read. So if anyone oh, who's listening or watching on YouTube, hello, do send recommendations for books. <gasps> Lee Pierce Book Club. Yeah, like this one that I just read, I wouldn't say was a rom com, but it was kind of like a l- nice little love story. Oh, okay. But like it's not too soppy, so I don't want like you know. Like, um, like ooh. one day or whatever it was called. Yeah, yeah. She bumped into Mr. Darcy. And yeah, yeah. That was it. You know, I don't want all that shit. Yeah. I want like a real true story. Great. Or I do like crime. Crime. Have you read American Psycho? No. That's my favorite book. Is <laughs> really? It? Yeah. It's such an intense book. It's really intense. I think like at first you're like, I can't get into this. Like, and I've read like nearly all of his the author's books. But once you're into it. You just like you need to know what happens next because it's just wild. But you are reading it on the tube and you're going like this. Mm. 
like wincing and people are like, oh, she's obviously up to the rat bit. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> yeah, you don't want people reading over your shoulder when you're reading. Yeah, it's very intense. Yeah. yeah. But it is it's very crimey. Are you <laughs> a reader, Luke? I like reading. I can read. Yeah. I can read. I can read. Good. Yeah. What do you read? Uh, American Psycho. <laughs> <laughs> He's read it. <laughs> Lessons in Chemistry. I remember that from GCSE. Um, <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know. Read anything. I like reading. Yeah. It makes me go, but I only do it to go to sleep, which I feel is like offensive to And then authors. you miss out because you're yeah. like, I have to go back and read that paragraph. But like, I got really bad insomnia if I don't read. So it's like, oh, I literally need to do it. And then like, you fiction, so are you nonfiction? Anything. I'll just read the next thing I find. Oh, right. oh, I wish I was more like that. But, yeah, but I don't. I don't remember any of it. I just pass out and then. Yeah. Have a but that's weird what dream. I was a bit like with audio books. If I put it on, I'll just fall asleep straight away. But with reading, I'm actually. So I'll try and just put my phone down. I've, I've been because I just because all you're doing is sit reading Twitter, and that's a load of shite. Oh, it's a lot of <laughs> shite. Oh. I'm doing Sudoku. That's my thing now. Well, you know, I like a bit of my chess. Yeah. So. But chess makes my heart race sometimes because it's a fight to the death. Yeah. At least with Sudoku, you're not you're not against anyone. Yeah, I'm against know? myself. Yeah. Which in it a is way a bit is annoying when I'm doing because I do the New York time Times thing? one every day. No, it does time you. Right. So at the end, it tells you like, oh, you did this in 30 minutes or whatever. Right. And what's your best score? Well, I have ha- I have done the expert one on the Guardian in thirty five minutes. Wow, I'm but gonna s- do it. Yeah, but sometimes, like, I feel like they they're not as hard. Like the level, I'm like, who's, you know, like leveling these? Who's putting them in hmm. categories? Because sometimes the medium one might be really hard. I guess that is someone's job, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. How weird. Because they're not. It's not always consistent. No. And it is annoying when you fall Is it a bit like star signs? They're just assigned on the newspaper. Just <laughs> yeah. just, you're, you're doing the Sudoku's this week, and they're just like, oh, expert. Just, yeah, yeah. Say it's easy. <laughs> Whatever. And everyone's like, this isn't fucking easy. I've been doing it two hours. Um, yeah. Oh, maybe I should do one, and I'll do start it. off on expert and hopefully get a better score <laughs> in my first go. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Have you said <so> smug? <laughs> do it, you little shit. <laughs> um, did you, what, what, what games did you like as a child? Because well, I remember when Sudoku... Do you remember when it first came out? Everyone was talking about it. Oh, it's my like God. It's like a phenomenon. In the paper, and it'd be, like, really easy, but it was so difficult. My dad would be like, yeah. And then I didn't realise for one once. I, did, I remember doing my first Sudoku, and was like, oh, easy. But then, like, it all had to be the same. It was, like, on one line yeah. it had done it. It's actually really annoying doing it in, like, the paper. Obviously, if you use a pencil, it's fine. But if you do one wrong, you're like, oh, f- I fucked it now and I can't be asked. Really? Starting again. Yeah. But at least when you're doing it online, you can like delete a few and be like, yeah, right, I'm yeah. figuring it out it's now. It's a bit more clean. It's a bit cleaner. But then bit surely cleaner. you must like doing the you know, authenticity. I of the do paper. like the thingy, but it does make you sleepy. Maybe I'll do that tonight. Mm. Yeah, game wise, I, u- I used to like a minesweeper me, but we're from the days where computers came with nothing on. Yes, very true. But that's how I learned how to play a backgammon. Because there was backgammon on it. What was that one? Was Minesweeper the one where there were like bombs and stuff? And you had to, fi- it was a puzzle, so you had to figure out like, yeah. Say like two, and that meant there was like two yeah. around. Yeah, and then there was Solitaire. Yeah. Didn't really ever get that. Um, <laughs> and then, of course, Snake on the phone. That's when that first came out. Oh my out. God. Oh, I love it. used Snake. to wind me up, though, Snake. Like, I'd do it for a bit, but then I'd get like really bored. Of yeah, it. it'd be annoying. But people were, like, I knew people at school who like could do it without looking. Because they were so addicted. Like, yeah. their thumbs were just like, two, four, two, six, two, eight, eight, you know, you know whatever. Um, Losers. Yeah, no, I, um, my favourite was Game of Life. Did you ever play Game of no. Life? Oh, my God, you've never played Game of Life. Is it like Habbo Hotel? No, it was a board game. Mm. And um, well, maybe you have told me this and you die and stuff. You have kids and you can sue people. I once sued someone for I damages. Bet you loved that. Yeah, yeah, I'd loved it. <laughs> and you drive around in a little car and you get like little bits and bobs and it's whoever's got the most money at the end and ends up in the mansion. Oh. Yeah, and you get like a job and like Sims Live. A little bit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I loved that game of life and Monopoly was also a good one, but I flipped the board a few times of Monopoly. Have you? Yeah, furious. I'm I'm not a too I'm not like that when I game. My friend not, not did anymore. That. that was as a kid. Yeah. My friend Kate did that in a game of Scrabble at New Year once. Why? She couldn't cope that um, our friend Ben was beating her. <laughs> well, well, really? She just some people, are re- it really affects yeah. them, doesn't it? And I remember, I'm quite good at Scrabble because it's actually not a word game. It's tactics. It's logic. Well, it's a bit of both. I would. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. But, like, if you get J... Yeah. And you put it on a fucking triple letter. Uh, well, I know, exactly. It's yeah. tactical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. people like think, you know, like people think, oh, they're really clever. 
so they're going to be really good at this. Right. And I remember once... He's really clever. Yeah. She wasn't. No, I don't think that was Katie, actually. I think Ben was winding her up because they're like, they really want each other. But then we played it once after Ben's mum's wedding and his sister's really intelligent and really competitive and I won. Right. And his now stepbrother is also thinks he's really clever and is really competitive. And I'm like here with this like dead thick accent, you know, like, hey guys. And so people assume I'm thick. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, just pop that J down there on that triple word. Great. And Ben was, and was like just word? loving it because Ben didn't care that he was losing because he was like, but what was watching. the word as well? I can't even remember. I think jog I've used a few times. Jog, yeah. It's like so jog. You just put down jog. And G is like, like a four, isn't it? Yeah, fantastic. And if that's triple letter, and then also on a triple word or something yeah. like you I mean Jesus and if you and put like you an S and then down yeah, yeah yeah and then oh my god I remember once getting like 120 on one score or something yeah. and I thought I've got this we may as well finish the game yeah I think that's what I did and like his sister was like no no it's not it's only nine well, and nine. I was like no it's it's. I think it's two words actually I think it classes as and we had to like Google it to confirm the rules because she was like oh oh okay and Ben was like it was hilarious because if it was me she wouldn't have kept together she would have been like Rah! yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Flip the board. i also hate playing with my mum because she plays it online and then so i always say like you know we can use the dictionary but let's use our common sense like if we all kind of know what word it is and it feels like she'll go yeah fee fi i'm like FI, right. and she'll go, uh, I think you'll find it is, it is the ribbon on a sultan's turban. Thank you. <laughs> Look it up. And I'm like, no, no, hold on. Because online, if it's not a word, it's not, they don't let yeah, you have it. Yeah, but she's been on it before and she's yeah. searched like, like, you know, stupid word. Z, Z, Z is not a word. <laughs> uh, I think you'll find Z is a word. It is onomatopoeic and, it, and she'll like list she'll it up and think, that's, that's not, that's cheating. You've basically cheated weeks ago by looking at <laughs> up and remembering it god christmas at your house must be yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> well i'm not i'm not going to be in um oh can we announce this now um maybe well maybe I, we, hint we at say it were. yeah okay but I'm you aware, have got a I'm nice aware. job got a job i'm work guys if i don't work enough i've just decided it's time to work over christmas and new year as well why not why not? I mean, I was on benefits for about three years doing fuck all. You're still bloody paying them back. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> um, <laughs> you don't pay benefits back. No, you don't. I was on benefits too. Listen. We both were when we, we started this podcast. We'd, we'd already paid them. That's what someone said we to me. Had. You remember, you've already paid into this. It's time That's you take I, it yeah, out again. Because Freddie's mum worked for the CAB and she was like... What's the CAB? The Citizens Advice Bureau. Oh, so it helps people CAB. like in... I know. I didn't know what it. The I'm, I'm the like a breathing now, but I didn't like. I work for the cab. I work for the cab, <laughs> and she was like, "No, this is what you've worked your whole yeah, life. Like, this is what it's, this is the time you need it. Mm. It's there when you're meant to pick it up." And I was like, "You're so bloody right, Al." Yeah. Well, I um. Oh, I always remember when they were ringing me up during like lockdown, being like, "Okay, Lee, so um, have you have you been applying for any jobs?" And I was like, "Well, there's no jobs on the stage, darling. Everything's shut down." And she was like, "Have you done anything to help advance your career?" I've set up a YouTube channel. Yeah, <laughs> like, they were like, and because they didn't know, like, bless them, it was this office in Grimsby being like who the fuck is this guy they just used to be like okay good luck we'll be, like I got a guy to deal weirdly with because like the London offices were so overrun and everyone was like off weren't they so it's like the easiest the quickest setup of universal credit I've ever had not yeah. that I've ever done it before but it's not meant to take weeks isn't it because so many people were on it they were like fast tracking everyone and I think I got one call about jobs like yeah. they didn't call me because they didn't have time and the one guy that called me was from St Helens oh my god hello and I was like where are you from and he was like, oh, I'm from St. Helens. And I was like, oh, my God, me too. I was like, do you live in London? And he was like, oh, no, our office is just ringing everyone. And then it worked out like he was like two years below me at school or something. Oh my God. So then we just chatted and I was like, oh, I've got a baking business. So I'm like out of action. And he just was like, oh, I get it. Yeah, there's not much you can do then, is there really? And I was like, oh, I've got an Instagram page. And he was like, oh, well, that's good. Yeah, you're doing what you can. He was like, all right, then, <laughs> yeah, love, see you later. Like, <laughs> well, well done. Keep us up to date. I'm yeah, like, yeah. Well, subscribe to the channel. There's no <laughs> subscribe, babe. I think I said that. I was like, this is my Instagram handle. Yeah, yeah. If you could Dolly give me a share. <laughs> share, like, and save. Yeah, you can get through the post. All right, then. Bye. Well, I didn't know about saving posts. 
on Instagram. Well, if you save, that really like boosts you. Well, I, d- I mean, I don't need any more boosting. After oh, I've babes. Been back. <laughs> <laughs> See how I brought it up. <laughs> I mean, if anything, I need a little slow down. Do you know what I mean? So I everyone, if you could start unsaving my posts, that would be great. I just need to chill out a little bit. Thanks. Sometimes I hate it when I've not saved one as well because you want to go back. Oh, I hate it. Oh, stays with me for Nightmore. the rest of the day. Oh, my gosh. So at the weekend, Lee... I went up north. <gasps> yes, okay, yes, she did. And I did. went to see Solve Along Murder She Wrote. Wow. I'm gutted I missed it. It was fantastic. <laughs> so, so explain good. what Solve Along Murder She Wrote is. So it kind I, of does, you know, say it, in the yeah, title, but just give us itself. a brief synopsis. So, a brief synopsis is you go along and you watch an episode of Murder She Wrote. Okay. An iconic one. And, and you, is this paid? You pay. Yeah, you pay... How much are the tickets? Maybe 15, 20 pound. <laughs> I wasn't paid to be there, unfortunately. <laughs> and it's hosted by... Oh, my God, I can't remember the guy's name because his Instagram handle is Solve Along Murder, she wrote. Right. I think he actually follows the pod, so maybe we'll tag oh. him in this. Um, and he does the role of Oxhall Tavern. Love it. So it is a very camp show. Well, who'd have thought? I know, who'd have thought? And he comes out as Jessica, like, in the wig and her running gear, cause, and you sh- he reenacts the credits because the credits are really cheesy. I feel like... Waving at people. Ding, 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 and yeah, ding, on his typewriter. Ding, 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 yeah. Ding, ding. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so I don't want to give too. Mm, yeah, well, I suppose it's a different episode each it's time. It's a different episode every time, and you know what episode you're going to watch. Oh, do you? So you so, get to watch it beforehand. Well, me and my mum have seen most of the episodes, so you kind of know. But he picks like quite iconic episodes that are like have big stars in them so like the one we watched has Blanche from Golden Girls in right so and then he like keeps stopping the episodes because episodes are like 46 minutes but the show is like two hours with a couple of intervals yeah and he just keeps stopping to take the piss out of stuff but he also had some like great facts as well about like murder mysteries generally love it yeah. I love a murder mystery yeah so he was like telling us he was like this episode is like the one we watched has like been voted like the best episode ever because it's called A Closed Room episode mm. which is very agonizing to Christy, you know where everything happens in one room and you're like that must the mean the murder is in yeah the room where it happened the room where it happened exactly so you know the murderers in the room <sighs> love that but we Maybe knew we the murderer right now. oh my god yeah who would it be it's definitely going to be Luke isn't it oh. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off <laughs> <laughs> there could be someone behind here no it would be me You'd be the murderer. No, it'd be like too the obvious, though. What, what do you mean? I thought it would be, like, not obvious, and then it's like, yeah, I did it. Because they they say as well, like, in Murder, She Wrote, they tried to not have the most famous person in the episode be the murderer. Yes, of course. Because that's always happens in every other murder mystery ever. Yeah. Like okay. The biggest celeb, you're like, oh, well, it's them. Right. So, so we did that, and then, like, we named all the guest stars, and then every time you thought someone was being suspicious, you'd, like, wave your little Jessica fan which like, had her face on, you'd be like, do, 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 and then he'd move them along the suspiciometer, right. which was great. And then we had a raffle. I won a magnet. I'm actually really jammy at raffles, as you know, and you are jammy as well. Tom Bowler's raffles are my number all I was you, What magnet? A, a of Jessica Fletcher. Right. Like, at the typewriter. It was excellent. You could have won a mug as well, which was the better prize, so I was a bit fuming. I didn't get that. And then there was a quiz for Cabot Cove. I love how he's texting. I don't know. What no, do you know? I'm just carry on. I'm I'm writing something, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say it afterwards. Oh, okay, great. So then we had a quiz, and we we got a question wrong, so we had to sit down. Oh. Uh, about that. What this, was it like? It was like hands on your head if it's out, true. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you won a notebook, a leather notebook. Oh. So good about that. My mum was on the old double vodkas and coke as well, and I was on the water. I had a half shandy actually. Um, and it was just great. And it was great to take my mum to Canal Street. I don't think she'd ever well, been. I saw you went there, because at first I didn't realise you were in Manchester. But then, yeah. yeah. OK, so... It's a 20-minute train from home oh, to Manchester. Oh, so good. Yeah. Canal, well, if those cobbles could talk... Honestly. They'd be sick. I think, yeah, <laughs> I think they'd be congested. Because well, I, we were in the Brewers. Well, there's that, that's new. The newest Brewers. Is it? Well, newish. It, we never had a Brewers back in Manchester in my bloody day. Is it the sister <laughs> of... barely even <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what. One brew. Is it the sister of the two brewers? Um, it's. I don't think it is, but I think it's kind of named uh, because of that or whatever. Um, but maybe like same company or well, something. We were downstairs in a little cabaret venue there, and it was very nice. Right. So um, I would approve of it. I'd recommend it if anyone wants to go. Once he did a tour, he's just come back from Edinburgh, so he didn't do 
he's not doing as many shows, but he did like loads of small towns and he like sells them all out. Hmm. But we should go to the RVT and watch one. Oh, wow. Well, because if you were hammered you. watching it, it would be so fucking funny because he really takes the piss out of everyone. Yeah. Um, so I was just typing. Um, I was like, he's writing an essay. Chat yeah. GPT. Oh my God. So good. So good. And I decided to ask it to write a murder mystery about us. <laughs> so I put, write a murder mystery. Mooch, so for anyone who doesn't know, Mooch yeah. kind of runs this whole company. We love to bitch about Mooch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's been killed. <laughs> so you, you're <laughs> yeah. already a suspect. I'm already a comment. suspect. He's still not texted me back. By a potential murderer. The <gasps> suspects are Lee, a comedian, Lauren, his podcast co-host, who is a baker and pinup, and Luke, who is their podcast producer. Ooh. The crime took place in the podcast studio. Reveal who the killer is and why. Do you want to know? Oh do you want God, me to yes. read it? Go on, go on, go on. It's kind of long, but I'll try and do it quick. In the dimly lit podcast studio, the tension hung heavily in the air as detectives Sarah Winston surveyed the scene. Well, the Mooch, man, they've just come up with a name. I know, yeah. This has just been written now. Mooch, the host of the popular Mystery Minds podcast, oh, they've kind of gone off the grid there, <laughs> lay lifeless on the floor. A pool of blood surrounding his lifeless body. The suspects, Lee, a comedian known for his sharp wit. Oh, they've got that right. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, a baker and pinup model, and Luke, their podcast producer, all appeared visibly shaken. Sarah began her investigation questioning each suspect in turn. Lee, the comedian, explained that he had a heated argument with Mooch just before the murder, but it was merely a disagreement over podcast content. He claimed to have stormed out in frustration and returned to find Mooch dead. Oh. Lauren, the pin-up baker, was busy preparing props for their next episode's photo shoot when the crime occurred. She insisted that she had no motive to harm Mooch and had been focused on her own work. Luke, the producer, seemed unusually nervous. He said oh, no. he was in the control room editing a previous episode during We the wish we had a control room. <laughs> <laughs> we wish. <laughs> he didn't hear or see anything unusual. However, his shaky demeanor raised suspicion. Oh, As Sarah examined the crime scene, she noticed a distinctive red velvet cupcake wrapper near Mooch's body. It was the same kind Lauren was known for baking. Her instincts kicked in. I make a fantastic in. red velvet, actually, so well, it knows that. To die for something. Yeah. Um, oh! Mm. See, it's camp. It's right in itself. <laughs> she discovered that Mooch had recently uncovered evidence of embezzlement within their podcast's <gasps> finances. The guilty party was siphoning off funds for months. Sarah realised that Mooch had likely confronted confronted the embezzler, leading to his murder. The breakthrough came when Sarah examined the cupcake wrapper. Inside, she found traces of a rare poison, <gasps> the kind that Lauren had access to through her bakery. Lauren, <laughs> desperate to cover her embezzlement scheme, had baked a poisoned cupcake, knowing that Mooch couldn't resist his favorite treat. Confronted Lauren. with the evidence, Lauren broke down and confessed. She me. had killed Mooch to protect her secret. Her pinup persona had hidden her darker side. <gasps> but Detective Sarah Winston had unraveled the mystery behind Mooch's murder, bringing the truth finally to light. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. That was Sorry, I, I love that it said revealed your darker side and then casually mentioned that you make poison cupcakes. I know, all yeah. The time. It's like, why do I have poison in my bakery? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. That's it was me after all. I kind of thought, yeah. And I didn't say. And you can. You, you poison is back. a woman's weapon. Did you know that? Is it? It's a, more, a woman's more likely to poison. It's less messy. And you can mm. just put then, look, this is chat GPT. Have Re you got an app for it? Are you on the website? Uh, you have an app. Oh. Yeah. Um, rewrite with Leah's the murderer. I'm not going to then reread it all again. But I love that was the murderer. That was really good. Yeah, you can just do it. You I reckon send you could write Goose, Goosebumps novels. Probably. Yeah. they read like chat GPT anyway. Yeah, they do. And he, he was just writing like four a day. Oh my God, you could. Let's do yeah. it. Just screenshot that and send it to me. It just be like, next time you fuck up the podcast, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> the booking. She's Remember still me. furious. <laughs> he left me on red, Luke. <laughs> he's, still not, red. he's still not text me back. 
Oh my god. It was like a month ago. That's outrageous. If I see him face to face, honestly, oh. he's gonna get it. Well, <laughs> if you see her giving him a red velvet cupcake, <laughs> you didn't listen to this episode. No, you didn't. Dun dun dun. Yeah. The best campus part was that we had to put a party popper because if you've ever watched an episode of Murder Show or Columbo, they always have an epiphany moment. Yes, of course. I love you know that. where like they go, like say you're playing with that lid and it's like, oh yeah. And she like picks it up and then she goes, the lid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so and then like, you know, her eyes <laughs> widen. And then you're like, what is it, Jessica? And uh, she's like, I think I know who the murderer is, but I just need to find a way to prove it. And then you like, she'll go off. Yeah, yeah. And it'll be something about like she'll say to someone, she's like, it'll be a total ruse. It must be so illegal, like how she catches them. And she'll be like, oh, I found this lid the other day. I wonder what this is from. And then the murderer's like, I've got to go kill Jessica because she's yeah. got the the evidence I left behind, you know. Or you'll they'll be like, um, where where is Doctor Where is Doctor Wilson? Oh, he's just popped out to get a limeade. What did you say? <laughs> He's just popped out to get to get a drink. A, a drink of lime aid. Yeah. What's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> I think I might just have. Yeah. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Then he'll go. Yeah. And then it'll cut That's to Dr. <laughs> Wilson, who's got someone tied up like yeah. <laughs> is the part. That's and the then proper she'll moment. Kick the door down. <laughs> Dr. Wilson, your time is up. You've just received your doctor's orders. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's all, all the be fun. Ones. Well, the best bit of murder she wrote as well is at the end. You strangled him with your <laughs> stethoscope, which is not easy for someone to say or do. <laughs> but I manage it. Why um, is your accent flipping between British and American? I travel a lot, Dr. Wilson. So I do. <laughs> so I do Irish. You were actually covering all the murder she wrote bases, though, because obviously, obviously, obviously Angela Lansby is British, but lived in America for a long time. Yeah, yeah. And there's loads of Ireland episodes, and the accents are just so shocking. Right. Because she lived in Ireland for a while as well. So they're always like, how are you doing there, Nan? <laughs> and it's just like so fantastic to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the epiphany moment, you know them well? I love that. Yeah, I love it. In any, in any show. Yeah. It's like, oh, my God. Me and Freddie went through us it. right in the face the <laughs> yeah, whole yeah. time. Me and, and Freddie went through it. And flashbacks to the it. scene you've already seen, but it will just pan where you'll see them like in the background. The and that's <laughs> where you moved the weapon, <laughs> just as we were all distracted as the glass of marble shattered on the floor. As we were picking up the marbles, I saw you sneaking to the compartment. It's always like as well, like why are you paying so much attention? Mm. You know, all the time, like that was the one of the hilarious things. He kept stopping it when Jessica was like, when someone got on this bus, it was on like a bus journey. She's like <laughs> looking at them suspicious. And it's like he's looking at, and he was like, she's looking at everyone like they've already committed murder. Like before they even yeah, have. Well, she's. I mean, you know she's I mean? seen a lot, to be fair. She is she's the angel right of death, and she? You know, not trustworthy. Suspish. Yeah. Do and like, mean? I watched an episode of my mum last night, and she walks into this factory, and there's a cuckoo clock, and she goes, oh! And it's like such a moment where you're like, well, that's going to come back. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. There's no reason you're yeah, not yeah. showing us that cuckoo <laughs> yeah, clock. Yeah, and she's yeah. like, oh gosh, that was a surprise. And she's like, ha, laughs about it. And then later she's yeah. going, wait the a cuckoo second. Clock. The cuckoo clock. The cuckoo clock. <laughs> I heard that in the back of your voicemail message. <laughs> so yeah, it was just fantastic. And then there's like a woman stood in front of the cuckoo clock and the cuckoo clock like knots her out. Yeah. And at the end of the episode is a cuckoo clock being arrested. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're the ones who killed it. <laughs> it was the cuckoo clock. <laughs> Take it down. <laughs> oh. Yeah, all in all, a camp night. I bet it was. I'm saddened I missed it. Yeah, and me and my mum are very camp. So but you're, the, you're next lined up now that Angela gone too soon well mm. <laughs> <laughs> it, was getting, it was a waiting game wasn't it it really it's was it's coming up to a year 11th of oh, October well you could be the new Jessica Fletcher I could never murder she typed murder she typed murder she autocorrected murder she chat <laughs> GPT <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. murder she AI'd oh my god that'd be so great yeah <laughs> yeah maybe I will maybe I'll start my own blog you could. You could be the next one. You could be on TV. That'd be great. I did. I do have the glasses for it. Well, well she's got the part. <laughs> I've got the outfit, <laughs> guys. I, I, um, I don't want to just say, I can't act, but I do have the glasses. <laughs> I've <laughs> got the Greg wardrobe. Save money on wardrobe. <laughs> yeah. I'll style myself. I do have the wardrobe. Mm. Yeah, I know. 
But what's in that wardrobe, I wonder? <laughs> um, Dead body. We've got to go. We've got to bloody go, Total guys. Total frivol, as always. Well, we didn't even get on. <laughs> we were going to talk more about nostalgic TV I know, shows. but I just read a novel. But it's, <laughs> hey, I feel like we should chat GPT something else. Well, yeah, the whole episode. <laughs> we don't have to come in. <laughs> Get it auto queued up, guys. We should. In fact, send next week, shall we have a, an AI episode? What? And people have to ask us questions? Yeah, like you, or, you know, send in stories of what, you know, what. I don't know, maybe not. Oh, we'll forget. Yeah, we'll forget to fucking do it anyway. Send in your suggestions and remind us. Or always ask us questions what you want to hear us talk about as well. Yeah. On YouTube, if you search for Lee Peart or Fab Life with Lauren Lee, you find us. And on Instagram at Fab Life Pod or Facebook at Fab Life Pod. You can find us. We're kind of not, we don't do really Twitter anymore. And when I say we, I mean, <laughs> I was in charge of Twitter. <laughs> You've got like, I don't know, 800 odd followers on Instagram and yeah. Facebook. And I've got 12 on Twitter. <laughs> I just stopped doing it. I love it on Instagram now because when I reply to people, because I love it when you send me your memes and stuff that remind you of us because that's just great. We love it. Um, I'll reply being like, oh my God, this is so funny. Hope you're having a nice week or whatever. We'll get into a bit of a chat with someone. And then they go, thanks, Lauren. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they know it's me. <laughs> I'm going to start replying. I'm going to start shocking people. Yeah, they'll be like, well, that was a stopper. That was clearly Lee, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'll go. Cheers. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for getting in touch. <laughs> we'll reply as soon as possible. Um, Luke, you've been fab life. Do you feel fabber after listening to this? Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, oh, all right. There's nothing so sure as that man's voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you feel camper? I, yeah, super camp. That, yeah, great. Super that's camp. The, that's the the Lauren Mach and Crane effect. <laughs> yeah. <Hey. laughs> um, in the meantime, this has been episode 26 of Fab Life with Lauren and Lee. <laughs> <laughs>